In this video, we will explore the amazing world of Scratch Jr. Yep, you heard it right. Scratch Jr. is the little sibling of Scratch made specially for babies. Now, I gotta admit I'm broke, so no fancy iPad for me. But guess what? I somehow got Scratch Jr. running on my PC. So let's see if this kid coding tool lives up to its big brother's fate. So as you can see, I got Scratch Jr. running on my PC and I thought of making a game because obviously everyone watching this video should understand Scratch Jr. because it's made for babies. So I thought of making Apple Cats because everyone loves Apple Cats and boom, we are Scratch Jr. So not gonna lie, this is pretty intimidating, although it's made for babies. I like Scratch, I like Scratch. We got different things. Oh, the full screen, really cool. And we also got the X and Y grid, that's really cool. We could select backgrounds, okay. So since this is an Apple Cats game, let's go with the Apple background. So we got this ABC, <laughs> uh, good type. So I think this is the project name, let's call it Apple. Yeah, the lot Scratch Jr. Look at the sound effect. So this is not the project name, just Apple. So how do you move it? I'll move it, okay. What's this? What does this do? I have no idea. And we could do different backdrops? What, what do you call this? A few moments later. So I googled it and it's called scenes in Scratch Jr. So you could make different scenes in Scratch Jr. Uh, how do you, how do you delete it? How do you delete scene? Oh. But this is how you name it. Call it Apple. Yeah. Look at the sound effect. So we got tick. And we need to get Apple, so let's choose a new sprite. Wow, these sprites are so much better than the one side scratch. Oh yeah, we got an Apple. We also got Peach for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, we got our Apple, so it selects it. Okay. So, looks like these are the blocks we got. So, we got events, motion, sound. Oh, this is look. I just got confused with the color. And this is sound, all right. We could record sound as well. And we only got pop. So we also got troll blocks and I have no idea what this stuff are. So let's make this apple ball down. When we flat flick, okay, cool. We could move it. So let's test that. All right, it's falling down. So how do you repeat? All right, so once it falls down, it goes back up. So that's cool. So how do you how do you repeat it? So I think this is a repeat. So let's try something like twenty. Okay, it's working, but we need to move it for a long time. So let's try to repeat it one hundred times. What's what's that sound effect? Oh, so you can't go beyond 100, so let's check 99. Alright, so... Yep, 99 is the maximum. Alright, so we got it to repeat 99 times, so the apple always falls down. So that's cool. So let's just put another repeat. 99, add another one. So now this would technically need to repeat it a lot of time. Now let's try to move T. So let's check the block. Oh, oh no, I completely forgot you got no keys or scratches doing here. Oh no, can't move T. How do you move T? How do you move T? A few moments later. We need to make a button, so try to create a button. Uh, we don't have any buttons, so let's try to paint one. Oh wow, this painting is so much better, I would say, than Scratch. So we could do a triangle, so that immediately qualifies Scratch Jr. to be better than Scratch. Oh, how, how do you delete? So the move to... How do you delete? Backspace is not working. Oh, if we double click it, we could change different points. That's cool, we also could add points as well. How do you delete it? I don't want to add points. What's this? Oh, that's the rotate button. Uh, this should be the duplicate. So I think it's this cut dupe. Let's try to rotate this. Nice. And uh, let's fill it in. Black. What's this? 
So he turned on the video. Of course, I will blur that out. I don't know why they put on the video thing. So you could take your face as a snap. So let's select that out. Yeah, so it's kind of big. So how do you reduce the sprite size? So this is grow, shrink. There we go. Well, look at the sound effect. When this thing is clicked, so where's that block? I think it's this. Start on tap character. All right. So let's try to rename it. Button. And we could broadcast messages. So this will make things really, really easy. So we could broadcast a message. Then when we receive that message, we could move to the right. So let's test that out. All right, we could finally move ticks. I want to increase tick a little bit. So let's grow it. So now let's do the same thing, but for the left. Wow, it automatically stores your sprite. So let's choose this. Shrink it and rotate it. So let's do it. Rotate it to both. When this sprite is clicked, you could broadcast different meals. All right, I'll go with the yellow one. So let's rename this button. So you could use the same name or two sprites because this is Scratch Junior. So once you receive that yellow mail, all right, so you can only broadcast six messages. Kind of whack. We could. Oh wow, this block is so weird. Go to the right. How do you change this side? Rotate, nope, that doesn't work. Oh, it's the hop block. So you got gravity inside of Scratch Junior. Wow, uh, what's this? We go go home. What does go home mean? So I think it's your original question. Yep, that's your original question. All right, cool. And now we could move our tick. That's cool. Could you question this sprite? No, you cannot push in this sprite. So now we need to add collusion. So let's select the apple and let's show the collusion block. Start on bulb. We could, we could toggle. So we could hide first. And then we could use the go home block, I think. Let's try that. So let's add a small delay. So we could use this wait block. Let's say 10, 10 seconds is kind of a lot, so let's say 5. Alright, that's not seconds. Oh, that's not milliseconds. I think that's just 5 frames. So we could just go with 10. Nice. So now we got another problem because the apple falls down on the same portion. So there's no random block. And I don't think that you can code that in Scratch Junior. So let's just try to make another apple. Could you duplicate it? No. So let's go with the peach because everyone love peaches. So let's go with the apple. Could you duplicate? Oh yeah, you could duplicate. That's cool. The sound effects is the thing that I love. So let's keep the peach here and try to run it. So both of the fruits start falling on the same time. So let's add small delay for the peach. And I'm gonna go wait like five. Set speed. So you could set the speed of the things. So it's currently on run. So let's try more. Oh, well, that's really slow. What about this? I think it's great. Oh wow, that's really, really fast. So I think I could add that for tick. So, oh no, how do you select tick? Oh no, I'll select tick. Come on, I want to select tick. How do you, how do you go back to tick? So let's buy tick. Oh, finally. So let's just delete. How do you delete? B to print. So by default, it's all run. So then let's try sprint. Oh yeah, sprint is much, much faster, I would say. Oh, so that's how we delete. Oh, finally. Let's increase this value for two, two. So let's add a small delay. So what does this block do? So it's kind of like the stop block. So I already saw a stop block. Yeah, let's stop tick. That's the end, all right? And oh my God, this is repeat forever. So we don't need that much of repeat. We could just repeat forever. Wow. So it kind of works for speech because we could add a small delay. So I'll just keep it like this for the beat. Let's try to increase this by like 
for waiting. So you could have this really cool hack where you could just go with the other edge to teleport to the other side. So now for the game over. So now let's just try to draw another line. All right, portion it like this, select the line, and portion it here. I think we could get use of the scenes. Let me delete tick. Oh, well. Oh, nice. Really cool game roller sprite. So let's go with the background as well. I like this background. Oh, awesome. Now we need to add the detection. Go for this block. So you could just duplicate the same thing for the other character as well. Now let's test it. And boom, we got the game over. So once we got the game over, we could wait for 10 frames and go back to our original scene. So this block again should put us to scene one. Let's test it. Test that. So let's let an apple fall. And game over. And yeah, finally working. So we finally made Apple Cat on Scratch Jr. So this took a lot of time that I expected it to. So yeah, this is Apple Cat's game, but it's Scratch Jr. Nice. So yeah, I'll just close it.